Games and we are back with another Let's Play of Current Households. <laughs> So we are back, we are back, we are back for another let's play and guys if you haven't already make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, make sure you comment something down below, make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you can get notified on when I post and make sure you not follow my social media so you can get updated on what's going on. So like I said, if you already know, if you don't know because I did put this out on my Twitter, I'm bringing something new to my channel and this is it, my current households. It's something that I want to bring to my channel, um, and it's not like our normal let's plays, it's more, it's not going to be on a regular basis, it'll probably be, I'll probably do a current household once every month or once every two months, um, because like I said it's my current household so I play it a bit differently, I go at a slower speed, so it's not going to be a regular sort of upload like my other let's plays, as well as that, um, it's not going to be like a full on LP, I'll probably just do a day with them or just do one task with them um, in the video but mostly it'll just be background checks so I'll talk about my current household, tell you what they're like, their background stories, the family and what not. Um, by the way there are some gamers out there who did inspire me to do this so I'm going to give a shout out to Girl Meets Pixels, she does um, current households, she does hers on Sims 3 though but you lot should check her out, she is dope and she's she's one of the gamers that inspired me to actually do this so make sure you lot go check her out and this is basically my current household like I've been playing, I think, okay I have a lot of current households but this is one that I really enjoy. Like, I have a lot of save files of current households, I, well not a lot but I only have two basically. So I have another one and then I have this one. This one is the one I want to focus on more because I enjoy it and sorry if you heard something in the background I hit my wire but enough of me rambling let's get into the current household. So as you can see this is the Lu Louis Louis family. Um, you here you have okay Harper Louis, and you have so you have Harper Louis and Regina Louis who are obviously a lesbian couple. They are married. They have they have I cannot count five adopted children and one um biological child which is Regina's biological child biological child in a previous relationship but obviously Harper um, respects Harper Harper takes Regina's child on as her own so so that it's not confusing I think I'll go straight into the family tree this yes so here we have Regina and Harper who are the start the protagonist like the start of the family tree this is where i started from um harper is married to louis harper like i said has a daughter from a previous relationship called chloe um she's a young adult now she recently moved out and she's all she is also married and she is also pregnant but we'll go over to her family in my next in my next current household we'll play um Chloe and by then I think she should have a child and by then the child should be a toddler probably don't know don't 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 count me on that and then we have Jace okay so I'm gonna do it in oldest to youngest so obviously the oldest is Chloe and then you have Jace as the second youngest he's a child I'm soon gonna age these up by the time you see this family again they should either be teenagers toddlers or children i.e. Jace will be a teenager by the next time you see him and I'm aging them up fairly soon he is a grade a school student and then we have um Fiona who is the second yeah he was the second youngest and then we have Hayden who's the third and then we have Jamie and Billy who are actually twins and of course they're the youngest because they're babies now I'm gonna do it in an order of adoption because obviously I adopt obviously I adopted da -da 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 differently okay basically so Jace was the first adoption um, 
you know, Fiona was second, Hayden was third, and these and Jamie and Billy are twins, but they're not adopted. Um, Regina and Louise gave birth. Well, Regi Regina gave birth to Jamie and Billy, but obviously they had. Um, I don't know what the proper term is for it because it sounds rude if you say test tube baby I, f I, f I don't know I'm going to find the actual name for it because I'm just like are, are they actually called test tube baby yeah they are in it's called in vitro fertilization oh IVF I'm so dumb yeah by IVF so they had a child by IVF um and they had Jamie and Billy of course and that's basically the family tree so far so let me get into their sort of personality and traits so first let's start off with Harper Harper is a overachiever um, and all of that she actually owns her own vet veterinarian um, she owns her own veterinarian um, just called vet clinic I don't think I came up with a name but I I thought it was called Louise Clinic but yeah that is called Louise Clinic and she's doing quite well her staff is excellent um it's really it's really really good um so yeah she's the owner of her clinic she is she has such a good reputation she's such a great person she is so nice she is so nice. Harper is just so nice. She's family oriented, bookworm, loves outdoors, and of course she loves animals. Um she she's just um yeah, Harper is very um work savvy and all of that. She really did achieve very well in school and obviously um Regina she met when she was much older. Um and they just hit it off and this is um Harper's first like first proper relationship with another woman she wasn't really sure about her sexuality when she was younger so when she met Regina she was for sure like this is the girl this is this is who I want to be with for the rest of my life and yeah so that was that was Harper and here we have Regina oh, oh look at her she is so beautiful so here we have Regina Louise Le, uh, Regina is um as you can see she wants a big happy family um have a have a child get married she did have a child get married I don't I don't know why that isn't complete she did have a child get married but oh well okay then um she hasn't got a career she's bought off a freelance painter um partly there is an update coming soon about freelancing careers so i'm definitely gonna incorporate that into this sort of lp because it just fits in and um she uh la, la, la. she is a good person as well she is family oriented she is like really like really like she's the more masculine one in the relationship but not like not as masculine but she's more the masculine one in the relationship and um, she's very cheerful and she is um domestic so she really domestic series will see there for me familial relationship good yeah so she's really all about family because when she was younger um she didn't know her parents she was actually driving from foster home to foster home and it was sort of like if anything her goal was to have someone that she truly loves and have her own family and just a really big one as well she likes the idea of really big families like so that someone is there for you no matter what to always have someone by your side and if Regina, if Regina could have more kids, she would have more kids. But Harper is just like, nope, we're done at twins. Yep, that's that's it. Regina. So yeah, Regina loves to adopt like children who are obviously in the system and stuff. Therefore, that's why she's adopted at least three kids. If she could adopt more, Regina would. But Harper's like, okay, we we need to stop there. Okay, yeah, okay. So um. Yeah, that is Harper. That is Regina. And then on to Jace. 
Jace Louis is just so he is something else like he is he is something else so Jace um, like I said he is a grade 8 student but he is so am I still he is so into sports like he as you can see he's rambunctious but he just loves loves sports so he is a grade a student he um one thing about Lou harper and regina is that they're they're not strict but they want their kids to do really well so they're very down on it when it comes to their education especially with harper she really wants her kids to do well so when it comes to her homework and study and she makes sure that gets prioritized but jace is an overachiever he's doing well in school as you can see his motor skill is high because he really is athletic he really loves baseball and all of that um friends he has quite a few friends um he has a hamster called hammy he has he's friends with cora billy um orange bailey moon or just bailey and max he has a cool group of friends um and yeah so obviously i hope he makes friends when he's much older and he he just he's just he doesn't really know where he was he just says when people ask him where do you want to what do you want to be or what do you aspire to be when you're older he's like i want to go high school college and then i just want to like go into sports like he wants to become a basketball player but he's not sure on that but that's something he really does enjoy and that's what he sees himself doing right now but you never know in the future that could change so yeah that is um jace uh as far as his biological parents they don't know he was just put into the system and that's as far as they know and now we have fiona I know her just come down the stairs so we can see her. So we have the beautiful and lovely Fiona. Look how cute she is. So Fiona um is a grade A student as well. Oh no, she's a grade B. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, she needs to get at least one skill up to level four. She is also ranked bunches, but she's not as active. Um she is more of a gamer if I'm gonna be honest I feel like when she gets older she's gonna create her own channel and just game on there sort of like what I do <laughs> but yeah she's gonna become a gamer and all of that she's like really into technology and stuff um and yeah so hopefully her skill could get up to four um she hasn't she hasn't got many oh these are <laughs> these are her friends but I haven't aged them up so I need to age up they Jaden and Louisa to children. I need to do a whole agent up, but she does know. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> need to age. Need to age them up. So, um, let's go on to Hayden. Hayden is so cute and so chubby and just so. So hopefully in this part, I do want to age up. Um, the twins, Jamie and Billy. I want to age them up in this part because. They have been babies for quite a long time and like you know sometimes babies in the sims 4 could just get a bit annoying so i want to age them up but here we have hayden which is so 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 cute look how chubby she is look at her i just oh look at her she is so cute so here we have hayden well obviously she's a toddler so there isn't really much like she she's a toddler like not much but she is just so like upbeat she's happy she is independent um yeah she's independent um and she's just really so cute and lovely and i just love it she is so cute i just oh i love it and then obviously we have jamie and we have uh, um billy so yeah um that is the sims so let's go over onto the house tour so i made this house myself now i'm gonna say it now i am not the best builder and when i was decorating this house i was sort of rushing it a bit so certain areas look really dull and other areas look better but yeah so 
do not get at me for my building skills but this is a house tour so they live in oasis springs but <clears throat> sorry i do not know what just happened to my voice there um they live in oasis spring it's the middle of winter so that's why it looks a bit dark um and yeah so you enter through here and then it's sort of like the hallway um sort of yeah it's cute or whatever i went for this sort of white just splash of white clear sort of setting and then here we have half part and regina's room um actually let me just turn on all the lights first because that is going to be annoying so here we have harper and regina's room and it's sort of like really uh, minimalistic they ain't really got much like it's just nice like i said it's all this splash of white really and truly which is cute or whatever and just have um their laptop and yes basically it for their room um and then you like have a little seat in here you are with a little bookcase and like the little thing that says home sweet home you know so it's very cute it's very nice and then you like have the living room slash like i did <laughs> i didn't know whether one of our kids was gonna get to me. oh wait no that's a lie um i forgot the daughter's name hayden I think that I know star her name. One <laughs> I am all over the place. I am so sorry guys. I am so sorry. I don't remember her name. Chloe. I Chloe is um and where we get to see her household. Um she is into music. I was about to say none of the children actually do music and I was like, wait, Chloe did when she was living here. So um this is like the music area. It's cute. I love I like it. Um and this is sort of like the play area as well. So Hayden doesn't have to always try and go up the stairs to get her toys. And this is the living room. It's cute. It is really cute or whatever. I like it. It has that splash of white feeling um and then we like have regina's sort of easel where she does her freelance painting and i can't wait for that new update because i definitely gonna use it definitely oh and then we have the kitchen so that's dining area which i love i love it i love it i love it here's breakfast it's scrambled breakfast scramble um which looks good is good regina made it regina is really good at cooking by the way she i think she's i think i don't know what level she is but she's past level five in her cooking skill which i know um so yeah this is the kitchen it's cute i love it um and yeah i just i just like when it's all used where it looks like it's being used so yeah this is though having breakfast they're getting ready for school right now um yeah it's this cute 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 and then from the kitchen we lead out into um the the garden um which is nice you should actually see it when it's dark time because this area kind of looks really cute when it's dark time and sometimes they eat out here as well obviously it's oasis springs it's, it's like summertime here every day um and yeah we like it's really cute it's really nice and you like have regina's little plant pot so that she could get like sort of vegetables so cooking's a bit cheaper for her and yeah and then obviously we like have um out here a basketball court as well as a swing and this is a gate so this is another way they could get into the house they could get into the house from the back we have a little barbecue grill you know for when it's summertime and they want to grill um but yeah oh and at the end do i have pictures of this household no i do not i was gonna say at the end i'm going to have a slideshow of pictures but do not hold me accountable for that because i have a funny feeling i don't have pictures from this household why do i have pictures from this household well my dumb self should be really asked that question but on my days but I swear next current household there'll be pictures i swear okay next current household pictures okay um but yeah i don't think i have pictures from this household for some reason but yeah so come out here we have like the bathroom um this is like the downstairs bathroom 
the main one, the Ibis Widget in it is this Widdish style shower, like open shower and whatnot, and like a bath. Yeah, and I know I should have curtains on the windows, like, but look, let's just pretend no one's gonna see. Like, oh my days, did you not hear that? Um, yeah, <laughs> my dog started barking. Uh, just hope no one heard that so yeah um so we come up the stairs and um it's like okay this used to be a big open area but i did not like it i didn't like how big it was because i just thought that's very unrealistic to just have a big passageway with nothing in it so i thought okay we just need to start adding, <laughs> adding walls and this is how i tell you i'm not a good builder i just started plotting in walls anywhere and everywhere and just making rooms up as i go so here we have um the sort of play room um yeah this is the play room and this is where Jace keeps his void critters, you know, just like his trophy of void critters. Hey, cause it's sit, you know, chill, read a book or whatever. Um, this is where Jace can play void critters. We like he sometimes has friends around and plays. We have chests over here, we have the laundry obviously. And then through here. Oh, through here is um I think this is yeah, this is Chloe's old room. Obviously, Chloe moved out, but I thought oh, I can't really just get rid of it, so we've kept it. But when Chloe does like come back and like she comes back, she stays and visits, of course. And it was just I just miss Chloe sometimes, and sometimes I just miss her in this house. But yeah, this is Chloe's room, of course. She was she's gonna be missed, but you're not gonna see her in the next car the household that I do. Um, and she had her own bathroom as well. But yeah, now Fiona uses the bathroom though because we've only got three bathrooms all together. So Chloe, I mean, yeah, Fiona uses it. And then this is another like small bathroom. Um, and then this is um, Hayden's room, which is so cute. I just love it. It's kind of like pink and white. Yeah, it's cute. It is nice. I like it. And then, like, look at you have these on the wall. You, you are a gem. I was about to say you are a diamond. And I really like this one that says I love you with the alphabet on. I just loved it. I loved it so much. Um, and yeah, then we come through here, and we have um, Jace's room. Yes, this is. <laughs> it's just so. It. I, I feel like it's messy, but I like it. I like that sort of messy. And then you have his shoes going through. Okay pretend that's not there uh, I need to move that I'm probably gonna move it over here then because I did not move but yeah he has the little hamster cage and it's cute it's nice I like it he has this big paint on the walls you know um and yeah it's just really cute a little desk with his clothes that little beanbag just to chillax and yeah, it has his desk where he does his homework and studies. And what the hell? Okay. Let me zoom out. Jesus. Is that how far zoomed I was in? And then we have the baby's room. Now it's really empty. I feel like it's really bland and empty because, you know, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know why it's empty but yeah this is their room not much really and truly I didn't really I don't know why I didn't spend this much time on this room I don't I don't know why but yeah that's their room and then we have Fiona's room which I love look at it it's so cute it's a little gaming setup when she gets older she is going to expand the setup trust me yeah it's gonna get bigger she has a little shoe area with a little I just love it I love it for a little play area. I love it. The world is yours. I just love it. And she's got heaven. It's cute. I love. I 
just love it. I love it. I don't know why she still has her toddler body there. I need to get rid of that, don't I? And that is basically it for the house. So let's get on into a day with the Rye family. So I'm going to start. So right now, it is the morning. So everyone's sort of like getting ready. Um, and everyone's like, I think everyone's downstairs eating breakfast. Yeah, everyone's downstairs, you know, having to eat breakfast. Um, Harper still needs to get washed and dressed so that she could go down to the vet clinic and open it up. Um, and yeah, Jay set out the table, so they're just sitting down for breakfast. Why don't you ask Jace how he's been? Oh, the baby is crying. Um, it's hungry. Okay, come up here and bottle feed you bottle feed um jamie oh my days all you can see is butt cheeks <laughs> oh my days i need to like change some of their outfits really and truly but yeah that's this is the type of character harper is she's just really careless to what people think about what she does and wears um they're going off to school very soon Oh, he's going to clean. This is what I mean. He's he literally did set up the table. Like Jay set the table. He's such a good boy. Like I just love Jay so much. He could never do no wrong. But yes, this is so cute. I just love it, and I love their outfits. They're all like wearing white. And for some reason, I've gotten into this trend of making my Sims all wear the same the same color clothes. I don't know why. It's, it's something that's happening. Why don't you finish cleaning it up? Um, let her out. Okay, no, your other, your other mom's gonna let her out. Okay, Jay's put this away. Put away. How many servers are left? There's four left. Okay. Um, they are going off to school very soon. Regina, what are you up to? That's enough here. Come on, let's see if your plant feed attending to you. Yeah, harvest all of your plants. Why don't you come and... We need to potty train her because at the start she did like... Um, have an accident in her nappy. So we really do need to potty train. So come and potty train Hayden. No, actually... Take a shower. Regina could come put you train Hayden. You come and get ready. And I think they're off to school. Yeah, they're off to school now. And um, Regina, come and put you train. Okay, okay, game. <laughs> okay, put you train Hayden for me. Thank you. I don't. Know, what the hell? Why is my game? My game was just like jumping for no reason. <laughs> Come and put you train Hayden. Oh, she is so cute. Look at her little top that says princess. Because you know she is one. She is a princess all the way. Okay. So we're going to go put you train Hayden. And then Harper is going to open up the shop. And we're going to head down to the vet clinic. So I don't think I have... I haven't done pets in my game for such... Like for such a long time now that i'm thinking about it oh look how cute she is okay i need to start taking photos of this household because i've not been taking any photos of this household so yeah it's something that i need to do um yeah i need to start taking photos of this household oh here we go jamie she needs her diaper to be changed come and change Change dirty diaper. <sighs> the struggles of being a parent. <laughs> oh my days. This is probably nowhere near as real life, to be honest. Because I can easily just age them up and stop all of this. What's really going to happen in this part? I'm going to definitely age them up because I'm probably I'm sick and tired of babies in The Sims. They've done it. No, this is their first time actually having a baby. No, 
the third time we got Hayden as a baby and then we got Jace and Fiona as children no I think we got Fiona as a toddler yeah we did we got Fiona as a toddler so yeah um when she's finished we're gonna head to the clinic this is so cute are you almost done are you almost done let's speed it up okay what oh what's wrong with billy who's ringing during free time fiona drew an inappropriate piece of artwork showed it to the class it, it caused a lot of giggling and disrupted the rest of school day um we encourage creativity Oh, uh, he needs feeding. I mean, yeah, whatever. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jace is, is in is the class all-star today, and he gets to be interviewed by his entire class. He's feeling nervous and kind of excited to ask her, ask him, how comes we always get A's? Should he try for something witty or just be like, or just be real like the teacher said? Be witty. That is the kind of person Jace is. Jace doesn't think his answer is all that funny but for some reason his classmates are falling off their seats laughing wow great car jason definitely got this wow <laughs> what a flipping school day it's a school's spelling bee and fiona has made it to the final round but this time she never heard of the word she's supposed to spell glancing around the room fiona sees a classmate I'll bring her at fresh a notebook with a word written neatly on it should she accept her help or give the give it her best give it her best shot did it work yeah it did okay um oh jesus christ come and change your diaper come and change her diaper okay you're gonna go do it are you gonna go change your diaper no don't bounce change her diaper oh she had an accident Okay, why don't you mop and why don't you clean this? Harper's leveled up to level 8, yay! Yay. Oh yeah, she has full skills in the veterinarian. She's level 10 in the veterinarian. Okay, stop that. Clean this up and further away so that we could go down to the vet clinic um are you what's what are you up to oh she's really upset because she had an accident come and comfort your child come and comfort her tell her she'll be okay um soothe her just be loving Just be loving towards her. Oh, take some photos, cause you know your girl hasn't been um taking photos for some reason. Oh. Okay, so we are going to head down to the vet clinic. So I'll see you once we get there. So we are here at the vet clinic and before I open I always like to check on my employees. So we need to promote um, Shania. So let's promote her. Okay, my game just lagged there for some reason. Not gonna lie, this lot is just so um i don't even know it's it just lags so much for some reason like there's literally nothing in this game <laughs> no i am not even joking i need to fix that because um yeah i need to fix that and i hope it works because for some reason 
I tried to take one of my pets to get neutered and it just was not working so comment down below if that happens to you guys as well like if you send your pets in to get neutered and then it just doesn't work how you the pet just goes straight back out without being neutered or spayed like comment down below if that happens to you because it's happening to me for some reason and it's really annoying what's happened to her oh okay so we are open for business and girl why are you pregnant what the hell Maria why are you pregnant since when oh she would Shania was pregnant and she must she must have given birth already okay Sims is just popping out babies like it's nothing okay I see you then I see you I see you. I usually close the vet clinic when the kids get back from school because it's just easier then if you get what I mean and if you don't get what I mean they don't get what I mean but yeah so we need to re yeah <laughs> it's time to restock so we can craft some treats and um, do an aged down tree and craft treats do a what's really expensive come up at whatever that is ambush here or whatever that is called um yeah and i really want to change their veterinarian outfits but i can't because for some reason every time i do this whole thing resets and i've worked so hard and i'm not going to take any risk of trying to change that outfit because this whole thing will go back to no stars so we're not going to take that risk so yeah this is basically a day in the vet clinic not much happens not much exciting yeah it's just chill just chill day this is how we get our coins this is how we pay our bills yeah but she didn't start off with the vet clinic like this she did work up it was much smaller than we upgraded of course i never built this but we upgraded if you go on me like i got an upgraded version of the vet clinic we had enough money to buy one so yeah because <laughs> like i said your girl's not a builder here <laughs> your girl's not a builder let alone building a vet clinic rather than a house yeah okay i want to i always had to check um how many customers we have so that it's not too many because then i would disallow customers okay let's open this up let's see we got this okay and then afterwards we'll go and greet patients we'll go and greet patients i don't think i said that properly okay then <laughs> i don't know what is going up going on with me i'm so tongue twisted for some reason and it's not even that late so i don't even know why i am like this but yeah also <laughs> by the time this probably comes out it will probably be like two weeks three weeks since i have not uploaded because your girl is still studying here exams are stressful and i'm trying to balance gaming and exams gaming and exams because i cannot afford to fail guys like you know how it is you guys that are still or have been going to school know that boy it could get stressful man why there's already an ad to be a maid resume or scraps how do i resume oh wait how do i resume oh but then inventory what the hell okay that was weird i don't even know what happened there okay is there any more p okay let's let's do a patient we are here just standing here not doing anything let's go greet a patient and then we could try to do some more because it's what's in here there's nothing in here and i always like to have it filled and stocks up i'm not sure what is going on with teo but it's not good do you think you could help of course darling this is what we hit oh <laughs> yeah that's not good okay i feel like i should disallow new customers yeah that's not good we will lose a star at this rate mm -mm, we cannot afford to lose a star 
I'm trying to get all the way up to five stars, which I'm struggling for some reason. For some reason I'm struggling. Okay. So let's do Teo. Um let's give him some that. Uh let's do a skin slash fur inspection. Let's check Teo's charts. Let's take temperature. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Okay, let's give him a treatment. Let's give him fix it all treat. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's bump up that two stars to three. Come on, bump that stars up because we want to use a star. We will actually use a star. Okay, so they're back from school. So as soon as all the customers are done, we are definitely going to close up shop. Oh, we're only going to get three stars. That is not good. Now we're going to go down to start. Yep. No, did we go down to start? We are. We are going to go down. Yeah. What did I say? Of course he was. Do not kick over the bin. Okay, let's craft. Let's do treats. Let's do this. Let's craft. Let's do the stick there. What's wrong with this? I think I need to empty it out. Okay, our stars increase back, which is good, which is great. Okay, let's do a. S am I doing ambrosia? Uh, no, I don't think I am. Do ambrosia. Let's do stinkinator, and let's do let's do something. Okay. That's it. So let's fast forward this. Yeah, we need to empty out that trash, don't we? So you about heard that they were going for the relaxation. No. I would donate, but we've been donating already quite a lot. Why is um Hayden so sad? Is she still upset about this damn po Yeah. I can't even... Oh, I can't even delete it. Great. Um, yeah, let's open this up, put that in there, stock up, are we, are all the customers gone? No, we still have one customer left. So is someone gonna tend to this customer? Hello? Is someone gonna tend to the customer? Okay. That's what I mean, sometimes my sims are just like, they just don't want to cooperate with me, and I understand. Okay. We'll empty out the damn trash, hold up. Okay, just getting on my nerves. I'm gonna close the store. So um that is it for today we did not make as much money as i thought we would because obviously my sims are being stupid so i'll see you once we get back home so we are back home and of course um who's this is this jamie or billy who's th which child is this okay okay don't want to show me of course jamie is crying so it don't matter anyway can we age it them up i <laughs> don't I cannot take this stress so what of, tod of not toddlers, of children, of the babies. They're constantly crying, so they need to get aged up. And that is what we're gonna do. So yeah. Why what the hell is, how the hell is Hay Hayden do, just stop doing what you're about to do? 
Okay, so Jamie has aged up to a toddler. We are going to make her angelic because she's continuously crying. Um, and then we're going to also age our Billy. But she's got a back. Jesus Christ. She's, it's just everything is just wrong. Okay, I want to age up Billy. Age her up. Okay, so let's make Billy inquisitive. Okay, let's do that. Okay, they. <laughs> they. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna need makeovers. But we got little chocolate babies. Yeah, um. Let's go. So, ah, uh, so you know what time it is. It is time for a makeover. Okay, so it's coming to the end of this LP. Thank you for watching this episode of Current Household. And like I say, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you turn on that post notification down below. Make sure you comment something if you have something to say. And make sure to follow me on my social media so you can stay up to date on what's going on. And that is it for me. I hope you lot enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And also we are on the road to 300 subscribers. So please, please, please subscribe. Because there will be more giveaways and stuff. I know I didn't do a giveaway for 200 subscribers. I'm sorry. But I'll make sure that the next giveaway will be just times two since I didn't do it for 200. But yeah, thank you lot for watching. I hope you lot enjoyed. And yeah, that is it for me. I am out. <laughs>